How we doing peeps? Hope you're having a, a good Wednesday evening. It's been really nice weather today. <laughs> Un unlike our shitty country man, we've always got shitty weather, haven't we man? It's been pissing the rain for ages. All summer. And then when it starts hitting the autumn, we start getting good days. And then it's in the paper talking about heat waves and shit. Fucking heat wave, you kidding man? No, I mean, never been known. But... <laughs> I've had a bit of a funny day, man. I've been cleaning up lizard shit and <laughs> daft spike, man. Know what I mean? But it's got to be done, know what I mean? I, I care about my pets. Um, I've moved big Golda, my big python, into a bigger tank. Um, oh, she's she's loving it, man. Um, so I'm just waiting on a new heating bulb. Because the one that's in our cages is nowhere near good enough. Because obviously ball pythons are kind of... They're, uh, they're, they can uh, hang with a, uh, see like Western Africa and all, it's dead humid and all that, so, um, got to keep the temps up and shit. Um, I sat in for ages waiting on a fucking Amazon delivery, man, and it was meant to come at like half four, but I had to go out, and I'm sitting going, this is taking fucking ages, this is taking fucking ages. And then, know how you can check it on the tracker? It tracks where it is, it's 10 stops away, whatever. It was driving oil on my scheme, right? And I'm like, he's gone everywhere but here. Like, what the fuck? But, um, uh, it's one of the things, in it, man? But I went a wee stroll that anyway, you know what I mean? I wasn't fucking... <laughs> wasn't waiting on any longer, I went for a wee coffee and that. But, um, I'm researching this this case right but i'm not really got to do a video on it today so um i thought i would come on and just tell a war story to be honest with you like fuck it innit um so i remember when i was um 14 turning 15 and um me and my pal working in a Glasgow Town Centre to buy trainers, right? Well, he was buying trainers, I was just fucking eating a McDonald's or something. And uh, the bus that we had got on, it, it, it travels down a road that bisects two schemes. And Oh, so it's like, it's called the Kafkin Bypass, right? But on either side, it's two different schemes, right? Uh, and my pal, my best pal back then, his nickname was Zenga, right? He had moved to Kafkin. Um, and my cousin actually stayed in the street behind Zenga. So I had family ties to the area. Had all had always been in the nook Kafka and all that and would hang about there even though I'm no fair there. It's just like it's just like the next scheme up for me. Um there was always boys for that area who had family that lived here. Um so there wasn't really kinda any animosity, but the funny thing was that scheme almost had like two different camps in one of the camps was our pals in the other camp was no our pals right um and when me and my pal got on the bus that day we were traveling down the bypass and we seen these boys coming out of kafkin getting into the this other scheme where we just fought with every one of them and um they were carrying like took like fucking i think one of them had a a baseball bat or something and they were walking back into the rain scheme but they seen us on the bus and they were all giving us the fingers or that shit but I was like hey, my pal what do you think they've just they, they look like they've just went and done something and funnily enough they had just went and done something but we didn't know what it was because obviously back then you'd name mobile phones and instant messaging and fucking uh, v v video nursel going on lives or this piss right so we went up the town, fucked about, boat trainers, got a munch, whatever, and then came back to the scheme, right? But see, when we get we get off the bus to walk to, to coming into the scheme, this bird walked past us, this lassie, right? 
and that we know and she said um like did you hear what happened to Zenga or something right and I'm like that straight away no how and she's like get done in um he's in the hospital so I'm like that straight away that must have been what they were doing that's we've just basically <laughs> been on a bus going up to the town and when we've been travelling down that road they've seen us on the bus on their way back home for smashing his head in right and I'm like ah oh, man we need to fucking smash these bombs man <coughs> so went home my pal went home just kind of it's one of ones we all just then we all met up in a big group, say there was nine tennies, right? Then we all went up to Zenga's mass house, right? And I think she had just came back for the hospital as we got there. And um, apparently what had happened was these other boys who we, we fought against these boys, right? They, they weren't, they, I'm not going to lie, right? <laughs> Out of every one of them, there was probably two only two I can think of who would do damage. They were always at the front of the the, the fucking they were always at the front, right? Uh, with choppers, hatchets, whatever. Uh, but the rest were just fucking I'm not gonna lie, just bams, mate, just dafties, know what I mean? But when they had these two boys with them, they'll, 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 they'll run up behind, because these two, these other two boys were always kind of seat the front of the fight, leading the charge, but behind them were just, they were just non-entities, man. Um, and this isn't like me, like, trying to kind of down them at it and see at the end of the day, you're going to have people like this in every area, but there seem to be, like... <clears throat> Married them over there, like they they wouldn't they wouldn't gang fight you unless these two boys were there, is what I'm trying to say. Whereas like there's other schemes where you've just go, <laughs> kind of just walking about. They don't care if they're way a group or there's ten of them. They'll just roll about with you. You know what I mean? Well, at least it was, was like that when I was younger. But um, when we had spoke to. Uh, Zenga's ma, he, 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 they basically what happened is they they were they'd seen him in the street and he ran up, try to whack them about with a belt, right? Um, because we used sometimes what we used to do was see walk about. <laughs> Even though you're dressed like this, you're not wearing a pair of jeans, but you're walking about with a belt around your waist with this big fuck off buckle. Obviously, you know what that's for. Because our, our thinking, or what we would do, was buy a bottle of Iron Brew and drink, like, half the bottle because you've got a glass bottle. You can't be charged with walking about with a half-empty bottle of Iron Brew. Um, and we also thought that you could walk about with a belt around your waist with this big fucking huge... The bigger the buckle, the better. Because it was like, when you're carrying a knife or a knuckle duster, or whatever, to me, there's no arguing with that in court. You can't say, oh, my knuckle duster was, it's just to, for my arthritis, so as I can bend my fingers or something, I don't know, right, You've, I've heard the weirdest excuses ever, the weirdest defences, but my point is, like, we would walk about with, like, maybe a belt around my waist, <laughs> because we thought, we we can argue with that you can't get charged with whatever right they're not going to waste their time but anyway he had ran it these boys with his belt would try to cost them with it and just <laughs> get set about right battered uh, I think he got a couple of bricks smashed out of his nut or something but hutton he'd with a couple of bricks or whacked out of he'd with a baseball bat something like that anyway he managed big staples and he said right and I'd never seen staples in somebody's head before this, right? And I remember looking at the fucking, the big staples in his head, and I was like, that looks sore as fuck. But I've had staples in my head as well, but this was, this was a good few years before, I think he was probably the first one of to get staples, you know what I mean? And, um, 
after we had all spoke to Zenga's ma, we've all walked back down to our end scheme for, for their right. And um, we're just like, right, we're, we're all just splitting back up, go and have our dinners. And then uh, later on that night, we'll all meet back up and we're going out to do damage, right? So fucking... <laughs> The first thing we done was um actually went back to Kafkin to look for um these these boys who weren't even affiliated with the boys who had done in my best pal but um they were still kinda um like our enemies and um we snuck up the this dark street where we knew they all sat. It was at the other end of the scheme because we could hear them all as we were all creeping up the road. Now remember, it's pitch black and we're all fucking scarf in your face, fucking hat pulled low, hood up, whatever, right? Um, all the black ninja shit on. Um, and started just, ch just chasing all these cunts all over the place, right? So they're all running about and jumping with what was fence, whatever they were doing, right? Running through closes. And I seen my pal, right? Sprinting down a, see, like a hill, right? This road. <laughs> and I knew whoever he was chasing, he was catching because he run like a fucking whippet, right? So I've just thought, whoever that is, man, that's a, that's a result. So just follow him. So I've charged away down this hole, try to keep up with him. But as I've got to the boat with the hull, I've just seen my pal's legs disappear out of a fucking gelding hedge, right? Like a horse in the fucking Grand National, right? <laughs> but obviously, me being the <laughs> the less athletic type, I've I've just used, I've walked in through the Gelden Gate, right? And he's lying on. I've caught Mister X. We'll call him, right? Like, I've caught so and so. I've caught Mister X. I've caught him. I've caught him. And I knew he caught somebody because whoever he had captured was lying in the fetal position in somebody's front garden and it's pitch black. But he's got like a like a, a knit cat ski cap on, see like the mad tammies you wear. And I fucking he'd, he'd a like a dark tracky tap on. Could couldn't even really see his couldn't see his face at all. And um <clears throat> I said to him, he's, my pal's telling me it's this guy's name, and I didn't believe him because it would be like saying you'd caught one of your worst enemies, right? Back then, obviously, remember, I'm 14, right? I'm a child. And I done that to him. Turned him round, because he, he, he was lying in the fetal position, right? So I turned round, turned round, he wouldn't date, it, man. We just turned him round, right? And I done that. What's your name? And he told me his name, which was the same name that my pal said. And just started beating the absolute crap out of this boy, man. Same age as me, a, a year older. Um, with this big two before. And obviously all the rest of the troops have all caught up and were smashing bottles off his head. Um, just jumped all the tap of him. Um, and I'm not going to lie, back then, as I've always said, that was the reason I that I woke up in the morning. Now remember this is after my dad's died, right? So I've got all this pent up rage, anger about that whole issue that I'm projecting on a other people. And what I mean by that is I can't take out my anger on the whole shit way my dad like on anybody associated with that incident. So, it has to come out in some form, doesn't it? Um, and it's a heavy trauma for any kid, any kid losing a parent, right? No, go to talk about parents losing kids because it's that's a totally different thing, right? But see, for a, the saddest thing ever is a as a as a kid losing a parent, man. It's just so sad. I don't know what it is. Just something about it. But. That was all coming out on this boy as well. So it's like, 
you're making me feel a certain way, you're going to pay for that, right? That kind of attitude. But see now, when I look back on it, if I'd held, when I hear about people doing this, I'm just like, bad news, man. Which therein lies the irony, doesn't it? Because, like, when I was growing up, like, definitely run my area, definitely one of the worst for these type of incidents, like, just, <laughs> know what I mean? Uh, definitely no proud of it, but as I said at the time, I loved it, man. Loved it, but I didn't know any better. Do you get me? Didn't have them saying, well, I did have people saying things to me, but it was just comments like, this is all going back to haunt you when you're older, da 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 da, and I'm like, not will because this is what I want for my life. I want to progress for this to fucking start just running about like fucking a criminal version of Robin Hood, whatever, just. He'd sort of my ass, mate, you know what I mean? They don't want to sit and lie about it. But when we were beating this boy, right, I remember I had to stop because <laughs> I was actually getting out of breath. Because I was like, it wasn't just like a couple of kicks, not this was a proper beating. And um, when I stopped, I went to start doing them again and my pals actually had to drag me like half gone, you're gonna kill him. Um probably you know what it's see when but maybe you don't know what it's like, but see when you're that you, you think like that. You tend to get it's like a shark's in a feeding frenzy, man. You're just fucking you know what I mean? Terrible. But um and the, 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 the mad thing is, this boy wasn't even anything to do what happened to my pal. He was just somebody else who we fought against. Um, and this particular group of boys ended up having issues with years later as well. Because I was just fucking constantly at war with them, man. I just, you know what I mean? Fucking, he was, my head was pickled, you know what I mean? But um, after that, we went into the scheme where all the boys stayed who had done this to him, right? And there was nobody about. I mean, nobody. Well, we couldn't even. <laughs> normally, you'd be you'd you'd be creeping about the scheme, knowing wee bits where they go and all this kind of shit. But nobody was there, right? And then. Somebody done that, that's so and so's house, right? Fucking went to went to this boy's door, but he was older than us, right? He was about 19 or something, I'm like 14 at the time, right? And uh, he had a nickname, say so it was fucking Popeye, wasn't he Popeye? I'm just saying that, right? So we chapped the door, right? And it's pitch black, and we're all storing like a good bit good bit away for the door, right? And fucking it's just pure opened like that. Like just a pure peek out. And uh my pal done that. Yeah. Is that you, Papa? And see when he said that, he's done that and right opened the door and see as soon as he's done that man. Or you've just seen tunnels of glass bottles and bricks all just flying right at the door, man, and fucking I think your dad came out and chased us or something, but fucking just See, this is the funny thing, I'm sitting going like, no, that, that behaviour just disgusts me, man, like, but, it's, <laughs> it's still going on, maybe no run here, that bad, no, you know what I mean, it's, it's nowhere near it, but, um, when, when you're looking back on it, you're just like, what, what the fuck are you doing with yourself? Where do you think this is going to lead? But obviously, when you're 14, just went through a heavy trauma, or five, whatever, and you, your head's just that wasted. You can't, I couldn't think straight. You know what I mean? And it was always going to end, and the way I was behaving, it was always going to result in a prison sentence, or two, or three, um, until... Such times as I just thought, no, what, fuck, guess who wants to be sitting in jail all our days, man, do you know what I mean? Um, um, the funny thing is, 
the boy who had um the boy who had uh, bricked my pal's head <laughs> um is actually somebody who I used to be pals with in primary school. Uh, I remember he, he got kicked out for eating all the pack lunches, he got suspended or something like two or um I did a boy man if I'm being honest. I just I kinda felt sorry for him uh, growing up to be honest because he, he was always like dead up and um and he was my pal at primary school but obviously when he went to bat for that or that or a mob, you know what I mean? What that man <laughs> It's gonna cost you, <laughs> know what I mean? But um I remember and see the funny thing is one thing I got out of hospital, right? We all went down to their scheme to find them because, like, mate, as I said, I just couldn't, couldn't, I couldn't rest, couldn't sit still until I, or some, I just wanted to do something and get, and get my pals to do it as well. And we went down to the scheme, right? And fucking. There was this other one boy who jumped about with them who wasn't fair there, right? He was for somewhere else. Um I was choking. I mean choking to get my horns on him, man. Oh and see this time that I'm talking about. We were creeping up behind him, right? Like pure like pure heavy tiptoe. And it was like they knew something was about to happen, but they couldn't see us. They were acting pure KJ as fuck. And see, just as we were about to fucking run up and start giving them it, my pal done that. Easy! <laughs> <laughs> and they all just started running around motors, fucking everything, right? So see that fucking, that bam I'm telling you about that bricked my pal's head? I was chasing him around a motor with a chopper, right? And I was like, you're getting it, boy. <laughs> and then I, I don't know what made me turn round, right? But see the boy I'm telling you about who I was choking to get my horns on. Uh, he was trying to jump out of this wall. But my brother, right? See my brother, I told you about with the, the <laughs> my brother, right? My brother had a grip his hood, right? As he was trying to go out the wall, he couldn't get out of the wall because my brother had a grip him. My brother's like, oh, bang, 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 whacking fuck at him with this iron bar. And I'm like, Paul, don't fucking let go of him. And I'm pure sprinting, like, this is it, tonight's the night. <laughs> and see, just as I go to where this wall was, right, he just fucking slipped right over it. And I was like, you dirty bastard, man. So, once everybody had seen that, who, who my brother had had a grippy, They've, everybody just started running to where we, my brother was with him, but I'd caught up, but he'd slipped over the wall, right? So we've all started running around the building, not couldn't find him anywhere. I don't know if he went in that house or he was in a bush, fuck knows what, but just, as if he disappeared in a puff of smoke. And by that time, fucking, uh, I think somebody shouted out, fucking, we have fun in the police or something. I was like, we better boost, but I mate, never, ever, ever. That was the closest I ever came to catching that boy, but um fucking brutal. Honesty fuck. And this is the thing, but like this this culture's still here. It's it's been there before we showed up and sadly it's always gotta be here. And I worry about like things like if my son was out and and people were kinda doing this shit to him, like, I would go fucking, <sighs> don't even want to think about it, because obviously, trying to, trying to think like a straight person is a full time job, believe me when I say that, when you've just went through your whole life dealing with things in a certain way, um, it's hard to break the habit, but it's maintenance, it's no, oh I'm rehabilitated, I spent 20 years in prison and got a degree, fuck off mate, Are you kidding me? That, whatever it was, it was power on that side of you, is always going to be there. It's like sitting on your shoulder, but now I realise, like, I've got a life now, it's better, my life's better than it's ever been, hopefully going to get even better. But the mere 
pro-social people that I have run me and the male people that that have my best interests at heart, then it's highly unlikely that I'm going to act the way I used to, act if at all. And having my son being a dad, all that stuff, obviously helps as well. Um, do you know what I mean? But, fuck it. But um, I just thought I'd come on and do that because obviously like, I'd been out for a wee while and um, I'd done a video last night. But um, I like just coming on and talking shit, you know what I mean? Um, and, but I don't like going too long without putting vids up, man, because I kind of like it. It's kind of therapeutic. It's like, <clears throat> I don't know. It's just, I like it. Do you know what I mean? Um, but... As I said, I'm 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 working on this other uh, bit of research, you know. Um, that was about that South, you know how that serial killer that I think. Well, I'd put money on that, put money on it, and I don't, I don't make a bet. I think I'm gonna lose. I don't bet, right? But see if I know, see if I'm at least eighty percent sure that bet's coming in. I'll make that bet, right? I would, and I'm I'm about 90 percent sure. At the very least, eighty percent sure that that. That video I made the other day about this, is there a serial killer in the southwest? I put money on that. The cases are all linked. Bet, bet my life on it. So, it's something high profile that I think is linked to that. So, that's what I'm going to do this video about. But I don't know if it will be my next video because I need to turn a, it's, it's not like I'm like kind of talking about something that I did myself. Like, I don't need to research it and all that because it fucking happened it's locked away in my head you know what i mean this shit i need to study so um like well, hit the books and all that as well for it you know what i mean so um plus i've been a lazy bastard the new man we fucking um wasn't feeling that good and then obviously got my fire stick topped up didn't they top it up for christmas there um so Boomtown in it, man. Started watching Prison Break again. Remember Prison Break? <laughs> I watched that in shorts. Um, and I remember seeing that American prisons had banned it because of... <laughs> well, you've seen some of the escapes. I'm going to start doing shit on escapes as well. See, like, notorious prison escapes, man. Break it down, you know what I mean? It's a channel's about prison and crime, in it. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. And leave you there. I hope you saw getting back and all that and staying out of trouble <laughs> um, but you all take care and I will see you next time I'm back on over now